Here is Duskgirl, the acrobatic queen of cleanliness. Oh yes. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, and welcome to another Dayton Dissects. Today I will be dissecting a game called Team Indie by Brightside Games. It's an interesting puzzle platformer speedrunning game, um, which features different indie characters who all have different powers, and it's pretty cool to see how they come together. You got uh, the guy from Bit Trip Runner, Commander Video, Clunk from Awesome Knots is there, uh, Tiny from Tiny and Big, Jitters from Pudding Panic, Dust Girl from Dust Force, Tim from Braid. Just a great collection of characters, and they all have interesting, unique powers. So I wanted to thank Brightside Games very much for allowing me to review this early. That's right, this game will come out October 9th on Steam. I have left a link in the description. You got your controls there, key, keyboard and controller controls. The controller works great. The keyboard, I don't do as much. Without any further ado, let us see some gameplay. There is a great overworld, very Mario-esque. We like things like this. Hop into this one to show you guys the basics. I found a way to hack in this game. Marvin's trapped in this world. He can't make it by himself. You're one of my favorite video game heroes. Giant flowers are too big to jump over. Maybe you could slide through. So yeah, X to slide. Pretty fun little time we got going. It's kind of hard for him to even miss the crystals because just like in his game, he does not stop for nothing. Hooray, Commander Video! So now Marvin the Cat gets to chase the ghost of Commander Video as he lifts the uh, flowers that the kitty cannot jump over. So it's really fun to race the ghost of yourself to the finish. And, oh, there's a medal. There's a medals you can collect on every level! Hooray! Autism! <laughs> so I think Marvin the Cat's a pretty weak character, but the gameplay more than makes up for it. So let's jump into something a little different. Here we have Jitters! Wah! Calm down, Jitters! Marvin, my cute cat needs your help! Just don't scare me again! So Jitters can turn himself into a platform, which also counts as an extra jump boost. It's really fun. That's about what we need from him. Be a platform for me. I step on your head. I should have made another platform up there so we could get the metal. You can press right button or left button to rewind your runs and restart it. And you can press the right button to fast forward jitters a little bit. So let us see how they work together. The power of three. And here we go. I started off as Marvin the Cat, but I can tell from those little power-up placements that they probably want me to be the bit trip guy. <laughs> Every time you hit something, even if it's an enemy, you will rewind yourself. Which can be good or bad, depending on how you're doing. <laughs> Slide! Yeah. Uh-oh. Ah. Uh. Okay. This time it's for reals. For realsy reals. Wah. Wah. Yeah. Slide. Okay, so now I open that gate up there. And Martin the cat just kind of has to beat me up. Beat me up by a cat. Makes you a pussy. Oh, That's terrible. Oh, now we're over here. Commander video is not supposed to go that way. <laughs> Slide. Slide! And now I'm Jitters, so I'm gonna go back this way and make a platform for Mar Marvin the Cat to come back. And then I swoop and activate. So all, all of our previous plays will go. Well, our last previous play. Where's Jitters? Jitters, we need you! Boop. Boop. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, we need to be faster. 
That's one of the things that makes it a little difficult. You gotta be on the ball. Know how fast it goes. Boop. Boop. Well done, Marvin. Yeah, Marvin the cat doesn't really have any special powers. Which kind of doesn't make him a great hero. But he does have a long jump uh, compared to other characters. And just the fact that you can control which way he goes <laughs> is nice. Because Commander Video just wants to run. Alright. Go, Blobby, go! More platforms. Go, go, go! Gotta be faster. Gotta be faster. Okay. Now the kitty goes. Now I'm just mashing that. <laughs> that rewind button. I know how it works now. So it is a pretty frustrating game, but it's not punishing. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? It'll frustrate you, but you know you can just jump back into it and be like, okay, well, the last checkpoint is literally five seconds away. It's not that, that tragic. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, we got it! We're gonna do it! Yes! Thank God. And then that whole thing will move down so the cat can jump up. So go, kitty! Follow your heroes! Woo! It's so cool to see all three of them racing across. An amazingly fun and innovative game. Fast forward it just a little. I think what excites me most about the game is unlocking all the new heroes. Here we have Clunk from Awesome Knots, who is a kamikaze bombing bad man. Here is Dust Girl, the acrobatic queen of cleanliness. Oh yes. As well as many other characters that I have yet to unlock. It's very exciting to uh, know that a game like this will be available for your purchase quite shortly. And I highly encourage you to get it if you enjoy bending your brain in such ways. Overall, I think the controls could use a little tightening and the music could be bumped up a notch or two as well. But the gameplay in this game more than makes up for it. I really like how they put the levels together and how you ha even have a little freedom on how you play the different characters and get them all to the finish. So, thank you again, Team Brightside. You are absolutely wonderful. Another wonderful person. The person of the week this week is from Diana. She left a lovely comment uh, calling my Scribble Knots video cute, which encourages me to keep playing it, even though, you know, I was kind of gonna. <laughs> so, this has been Team Indy, and another Dayton Dissects. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I sincerely hope you will join us for the next time. Until then, bye bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.